Hey everyone, you with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today's video is titled How to Escape Sydney in a Model 3 August 2019 edition. In other words, what is the current state of play with EV infrastructure in New South Wales? Quick reminder, the Tesla Model 3 range varies from 460 kilometers to 620 kilometers depending on which variant you buy. This is a map of New South Wales and the current fast electric car charging stations currently available according to PlugShare.com. For those who don't know, PlugShare.com is a great resource and is kind of our de facto go-to for the EV infrastructure worldwide. So I've got some pro tips here for using PlugShare. If you're going to go on a road trip, number one, look for the orange dots. That's the DC fast charging stations. Number two, plan your trip. As much of a fan of electric cars as I am, I know that you've still got to plan your trip because they're still not as widespread as we'd like, so always plan your trip if you're going on a road trip in an electric car. Number three, review plug share regularly. A trip you took yesterday may not be valid today because the charger may be offline for some reason, so always look back if you're going to go on a road trip at plugshare.com. And number four, if you're charging somewhere, always try to check in. This helps everyone because PlugShare.com depends on users like you and me. So let's have a look at DC charging in New South Wales. You've got three options really. Number one, the Tesla Supercharger, which charges at 120 kilowatts. At the peak, you're going to get about 700 kilometers an hour in the Model 3. The NRMA or Tritium type chargers, which charge generally at 50 kilowatts in New South Wales. The peak is about 300 kilometers per hour. For those types of chargers, you can get 80% of charge in about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on which charger you use. Just a quick note here uh, with Tesla Model 3, because it's CCS2 plug. So at the time of this post, not all the Tesla supercharger stations have the CCS2 plug. So hopefully in time, Tesla will certainly roll them all over. And certainly I think with Model 3 deliveries rolling across the country, we should be getting more superchargers updating to the CCS2 standard. But good news is that Model 3 can certainly use the CCS2 plugs available with NRMA and Tritium. So these arrows indicate the road trips that you could potentially take using DC charging only. As you can see in August 2019 you've actually got quite a few options leaving Sydney on those blue arrows. Let's go through each one right now. This is the Sydney to Byron Bay and then beyond road trip and as you'll start to see, the common theme is that the distance between each charger is actually less than 200 kilometers. So you can easily make the distance between each stop. As you saw earlier, the range of the Model 3 minimum is 450 kilometers all the way up to 620 kilometers. So you should be able to make each stop, no problem. This next one is the Sydney to Albury Wodonga and then beyond. And again, common theme, they're all less than 200 kilometers. This one's the Sydney to Canberra road trip. Quite an easy road trip. You could easily miss Mittagong. You can even miss Goulburn. You get to Canberra, no problem in your Model 3. And if you're heading to the snow, you can get to Cooma. There's a Tesla supercharger there. And you can certainly head to Jindabyne. There's an NRMA charger as well. This is the South Coast road trip from Sydney to Bega. And again, distances are easy enough to take a leisurely drive using only DC chargers. This one is the Sydney to Glen Innes road trip along the New England Highway via the Hunter Valley. Jerry's Plains, there's a Tesla supercharger there. And then up through Tamworth and to Glen Innes. This one is out to Central West. You can get to Orange. And then you can either get to Dubbo, there's a Tesla supercharger there. Or go to Parks, there's an NRMA charger there. This road trip gets you out to West Wyalong via Young. This one goes to Narendra via Gundagai. And again, the distances between DC chargers is comfortable enough in your Tesla Model 3. All right, guys, well, that is a summary of the road trips you can take in your Tesla Model 3 in New South Wales using only DC fast charging. Of course, if you want to stick to AC charging, which is a bit slower, there's plenty more of those. Just check out plugshare.com for more details. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. I also want to thank the 67 referrals that I've received so far. Thank you so much. I appreciate you using my link. And of course, congratulations on purchasing the Tesla Model 3, Australia's most versatile electric vehicle. And of course, follow me on Twitter at underscore Tesla Tom for all the latest updates for Tesla Model 3 deliveries here in Australia. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, happy charging.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Ludicrous Feet to stay up to date with our latest videos. Congratulations to everyone who's used my referral link to buy a new Tesla. I'll leave that in the comments and also in the description below. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook for more content. Happy charging!